everybody, it's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week where we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And you guys, how did I used to wear these glasses? For like, I swear, at least minutes on end. Do you want to see what I see right now? Do you dare? Wait, wait, wait. This will make it spookier. Do you dare to see what I see right now? Look at this. Look at this. Look. Oh my god. Okay, that doesn't even look that bad through a camera lens. <gasps> Is that? No? Ta-da. Okay. I just kind of zoned out while doing that for like two minutes. You guys, sand help. Uh, today, we are going to try something that sounds fascinating and fun. It is two minute tie dye. Yes, we're supposed to be able to tie dye in a microwave in two minutes. And part of me says, oh, that sounds fun. And then the other part of me just like questions, like isn't part of the fun of tie dye, like actually sitting down and doing the tie dyeing, you know? So like, why would you just want it to only last for like two minutes? I don't know. This is something that I saw on Amazon and there might be an Amazon affiliate link down there for you guys if you want to check it out. I was actually shocked with how inexpensive this was. It was I think it was like eight dollars and for some reason like the different colors like in the sets they had different versions. This one is called Berry Blast. And for some reason, I just got lucky. Like these were the colors that I was most interested in. And this was also the cheapest one. Go figure. Sometimes you're lucky like that. So it says it dies up to nine projects. Let's go ahead and open it up and see. You guys, I was not expecting this. Look at this. It's like to go containers. What is this? There's more than one. Look at that. It's like one of those prank Christmas presents. Oh my God, I'm losing all of the accoutrements. Look, we've got rubber bands. We've got instructions. Just kidding, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna read those. Uh, we've got gloves, will I use them? Probably not. We've also got four bottles of tie-dye. So let me, let me show you guys the colors up close. So I wanted this kit mostly for this color. If you guys hang out with me on my second channel, you might know I'm going through a bit of a magenta slash fuchsia phase. So everything I want right now is fuchsia or magenta. So um, that's why I wanted the Berry Blast kit. I think that this is literally called, why do I throw everything, you guys? Uh, oh, it's called Violet. You're turning Violet, Violet. We also have, I think they call this Rose. Ooh, fancy. We also have Citron. Wait, am I just reading these colors in French? I think so. <laughs> Cause the last one, I was about to say this color is Sarcel, but then I saw above that, it just says teal. So what am I doing? What am I saying? Lime Sarcel. I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but I kind of just want to call teal Sarcel now. I like that a lot better. So uh, lastly, the things that I just can't stop throwing on the ground is what makes this kit so fascinating to me. It is the to-go container that I was not even aware was gonna be, although like I literally should have thought in my little bunny brain, what would you put tie-dye in the microwave? Just a plate? I just thought, you know, just a plate, why not? So yeah, this is so interesting. So you get two of these and these do feel like really thick, high quality plastic. <laughs> Ooh la la, fancy plastic. So yeah, I feel like you could just do this process over and over, just like take care of these, rinse them out, use them more than one time. I'm not sure if anything about the actual dye is special or different. It literally just says tulip one step tie dye. And this seems to be how most tie dye kits are these days is they come with the bottles. I'm sure you guys can see, maybe I could show you a better color than citron, but all the powder is already in there and you just add water to this fill line, shake it up and make your dye, which I love when kits are like that 
the best. I don't really like like the Easter egg dying, crushing up the tablets and some of the other weird stuff we've seen. Let me consult the instructions. I'm assuming we have to have a wet t-shirt. So I have a fun, fun and silly way down here for us to do that. Okay, uh, let me read the instructions because I saw some yellow warning labels on there. So I feel like I should actually read the instructions because I like literally didn't know you could put clothes in a microwave. Am I the only one? All right, instructions and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, sippy sippy before we get started. All right, um, we are down here in the fun zone, which I'm just now realizing I think I have to even move you guys a little bit lower because I don't think you can see all the fun that's going on down here now. Can you see it? So there were two things that were stressed in the instructions multiple times. Thing one, the shirt must be 100% cotton. Um, and the shirt that I have to tie dye today it's actually bootleg, I think. It's bootleg merch from a band that I love called The Garden. According to the shiny, glittery, silvery tag back here, this shirt is 100% cotton. So I feel like it's gonna be really good with this tie-dye color combination because I feel like we kind of have like a Mardi Gras, you know, like gesture color palette. And that is what is on this shirt. We have a nice jester clown. The other thing that was really stressed on the instructions is that the shirt has to be completely wet. They act like anything other than a completely wet shirt will immediately burst into flames in your microwave. So um, I have this bathtub down here, you know, because I could have just soaked the shirt in water, but hey, why do that? Um, also, they did say that it needs to be soaked in water for two minutes. So I thought, hey, we're going to submerge it. Why not submerge it in a little bathtub? And then I'm going to set a timer and then we'll make the dye while we wait for the t-shirt in a tub that also has like, plus look at this. It's so cute, you guys. Look at that. You can like make a mess. I also don't understand how this doesn't get moldy. But so far, so good. Splash zone. Um, also, you guys, I'm filming up here on camera angle two, and you will see the mess of the floor of the filming room, you guys. I got clothes all over the floor from filming TikToks. I've got things to unbox. I've got things I have unboxed, and I haven't cleaned this room in probably at least two weeks. So, you know, just disregard the, the hoard that you see on the floor. Uh, but... I felt like we did need camera angle number two. How am I filming on two cameras like usual and you can see me in zero of the cameras? Hi, can you see, can you see me on this camera now? Hi. Uh, all right, you guys, dry shirt, wet shirt. There we go. I feel like I need to put like maybe something to weigh this down in here or is it gonna just stay down there let's let's add a little water why not um there we go oh you guys why i'm easily amused what can i say what was next was setting the timer i don't know why i'm doing like a creepy voice for everything also you guys i swear i still feel like my vision is distorted from the glasses why did i put those on Ah! Um, okay, timer two minutes. Although what's gonna happen if we leave it soaking in water for longer? They don't tell you these kinds of things in college. Also, I'm making the dye <laughs> with a can of liquid death. I'm just kidding. I'm just using the can. It's like recycled. I love to recycle these cans. It is just water, folks. It is, it is, it, it was a can of water and it's still a can of water, but we like to like, you know, water the plants, like recycle the aluminum cans. One time I made earrings out of it. All right, uh, let's see. I can't, ah! I can't see what I'm filming, um, but hopefully you can see me making the dye. Okay, hello. I hope so. Um, so can you see the fill line. I'm about to say, I hope so again. So 
I think I have a pretty steady pour in hand here. Um, oh, that was the other thing that the instructions did say was that you're supposed to be mixing the dye with room temperature water. So that's why I just, you know, regular good old tap water from the sink. Do you say water or water? I feel like some people say water. So let me show you. Let me show you an up close clip of me pouring water. Okay. Making the dye. Making the dye. For you and I. Uh, do I have enough water left in this bottle? For bottle number four. Kind of feels like no, but we'll see. We'll see. Ah, uh, I just ran out. I'm not sure if I was promised no mess, but that would be a slight exaggeration. I kind of can't tell where these bottles are leaking from, but each one, except for, what's a cool word for teal? Sarcel, yes. All of them, uh, Sarcel is leaking as well. Anyway, yeah, they all leaked a little bit. I don't know. Do I have the cap screwed on tight enough? I thought so. I'm actually gonna try a completely new tie-dye pattern today. I feel like normally I just go for like the traditional swirl, but today we're gonna try rainbow stripes. It even says you can tie-dye. Yeah, so I, I've never folded a shirt like this, but today's the day, folks. We're gonna do something a little different. I don't think it has to be like soaking wet. They just said wet because I'm like, oh my gosh, what a literal um, mess to just have like a shirt this wet. So they say fold your t-shirt in half in either direction. So by either direction, I'm assuming they mean hamburger or hot dog fold. Let's do a hot dog fold. And I'm gonna try and actually like have the logo facing outward like this. From the bottom, fold your t-shirt like you would a paper fan. So hopefully you guys can see this. Yes, okay. So that's like back and forth and back and hi. It's so funny, I feel like doing anything with gloves <laughs> just makes it immediately more challenging. And then they say tightly rubber band everything. <gasps> Look, you guys, it like looks super folded on one side. Oh my God, the gloves. But it doesn't hardly look folded at all on the other side. Or did something happen? I don't know what's going on here, you guys. Time for the next exciting step. Oh, and I forgot to mention, so this is how it looks like all wrapped up. The side that I was looking at as I was doing it, as I was folding it, looks really cool. Looks neat. Looks like it does in the picture. And the back side is kind of messy. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know maybe if I like folded it wrong. Granted, this is my first time attempting this new technique. So hey. So the next step of the dyeing process is supposed to be super easy. They just say to um, put your dye in stripes and they say the more stripes you put, um, the more, how did they phrase it? Not vibrant. Oh, it'll, it'll give you more colors. <laughs> that's, that's what they said. I was like, wait, what? All right, now the thing that I didn't think about was, am I supposed to like dye it and then put it in the container? Or am I supposed to dye it in the container. Yeah, look, apply dye and then prepare. That is really interesting. So I guess what I'm gonna do is just cover this whole area with saran wrap really quick. Also, you guys, this shirt seems awfully big for this container. Look at that. That's, that's a, that's a tight fit. Look at that. <gasps> also, I just went and like looked at our microwave because I guess they're saying that if your microwave is a 700 watt microwave, that you actually microwave it for three minutes and 30 seconds. And if it is um, a thousand watts or more, then you microwave it for two minutes and 30 seconds. And they say you're supposed to find the wattage like on the inside of the door of the microwave. 
our microwave says nothing. They they have like a time guide for like how long you cook certain foods, but ours does not seem to flat out just tell us the wattage of the microwave. So I guess they're saying for adult sizes, you add the 30 seconds. So for youth sizes, it's just two minutes or three minutes. For adult sizes, for whatever reason, that extra 30 seconds is supposed to do something? I don't know. Maybe it just like sucks all the water out of the shirt? Is that what's about to happen? Why does this mystify me? All right, you guys, Um, I have everything set up to time lapse the dyeing process. Um, I'm probably just gonna let this part just zip on. Let the dyeing begin. This is definitely gonna be messy. I'm kind of torn on what order to put the colors in. How am I gonna make it pretty? I think I'm definitely gonna look more into doing like tie-dye patterns in the future. I know this may seem like super obvious. I literally don't know why I've just never thought to like try and apply the dye in any other way than like swirl the t-shirt and squirt the dye everywhere. Uh, but this was like so fun and soothing and relaxing. I tried the best I could to like neatly apply the dye. I just went, you know, like one, two, three, four with all the colors and put as as many stripes as I could. Um, then when I flip the shirt over, I feel like the dye process like kind of just ran everywhere. It almost looks like all the colors have now pretty much run together, but I still think it looks really pretty. So that is everything. The dye is applied. I just also went ahead and stuck it in the box because I am going to try and like run it over to the microwave really quick because, you know, they do imply like wet, wet. It's got to be a wet t-shirt. So, you know, I don't really want to give it an opportunity to dry out too much. I did apply a lot of dye because I was trying to just get lots of colors and not as much white space, even if the colors did kind of like run together and blur and make like you know, I don't know what color like teal and pink would make if they mix together. Purple all over again. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of like trying to make these kits like easier and prettier by giving you only certain colors that even if the colors run together, like the byproduct of that is still going to be really pretty versus like just giving you every color of the rainbow and the colors just get like muddy. So join me over to the microwave. Um, I think I'm gonna play it safe and just put it in there for two minutes and 30 seconds. The kit is after all called two minute tie dye. So I think I will do it for two minutes. So let's jump on over to the microwave. Um, I think that I have everything sealed. This kind of like almost feels like it doesn't close together too, too well, but I think it's sealed enough. Also, I tried to like not have any dye like on the bottom of the package because I'm like not trying to put tie dye, like the actual wet dye, spill it everywhere in the microwave. The microwaving process, very interesting. So you put it in the microwave for the two minutes and 30 seconds, and then you're just supposed to open up the microwave door and let it sit there for 15 minutes, which I just got done doing. And now we're supposed to open the lid, but then let it sit for another five minutes. And I am shocked, honestly, by how really still very hot this thing is. Like I thought leaving it there for the 15 minutes, like I definitely thought that it was already gonna be cool to the touch, but honestly, I'm having to hold it on either sides because if I do hold it for too long on the bottom, it feels like it might burn my fingers just a little bit. So I am gonna go ahead and get camera angle number two and let's open it up and See, like, is, I don't know, steam? Is steam about to come out? What's gonna happen here? Is it gonna look the same? Is it gonna look cooked? Um, all that and more. Ooh, it in fact just looks, oh my God. The pungent tie-dye fragrance is uh, what I'm smelling. So I am seeing, oh, is it getting on the camera? I definitely do see and feel steam rising. Why did I not expect that? Especially not 15 minutes later. I'm gonna poke it, cause I can't resist. Okay, it does, it's still very, very damp. 
That is kind of what I was wondering if like, what does the two minutes in the microwave do for it? That is what I would love to know. And maybe the answer should be very obvious to me, but it's not. I mean, maybe it helps in like curing the dye. I know I always say this every time I tie dye, but there used to be the whole process of like soda ash and stuff involved in a lot of these kits. So maybe the heat somehow like bakes the color in. Um, maybe it's gonna help during the rinse out and wash process process because you guys know sometimes that is also a disappointing part of these tie-dye kits is like when we dye it we put the dye on it looks super vibrant and then we rinse it out and the dye looks like it immediately washes out and then we wash it with detergent and then like most of the time we are left with a very faded product or it just sometimes the dye washes completely out but I don't think that this is gonna happen this time. This is like an actual, you know, tie-dye brand. It's not so much like a toy. Colors do look more marinated and meshed together, which I love. I feel like the purple and the pink did kind of blend together. Now it looks like there's three shades of dye, more than four shades. And I definitely feel like I've been talking now for another five minutes. So the next step is for us to take it out of here and cut the rubber bands and it does specifically say rinse it out and launder it with soap and they don't say anything about like waiting 24 hours or waiting any more time than this like 15 minute and five minute buffer so oh my god you guys the shirt is still steaming hot it's so wild I don't know why I'm like so shocked by that but it's like almost too hot to handle i feel like this i feel like this is the most professional tie-dye job that i've ever done oh my gosh those bands are on there tight moment of truth i'm so excited <gasps> oh my gosh look at that <gasps> there is it's burning hot you guys y'all are not gonna be able to see the steam Oh my gosh, look at all the white space that's left. I really, it is, it is almost too hot to touch. That is wild. After like 20 minutes, you guys, it is, look at that. Y'all have to see the steam rising, right? You have to see the steam. Look at this. Oh, I love it. So you do kind of see blue, green, pink and I guess purple maybe is the one that like kind of more or less disappeared the most but oh my gosh you guys I am so excited to take this outside so this is what it looks like now hopefully you guys are getting a pretty good clip of it here just in case I'm gonna do like a side by side they really act like there should not be fading. I will see you guys in like 20 minutes once I rinse it all out. Oh my gosh, you guys, what happened to my hair? Um, It's been a few hours because I did rinse the shirt out and then put it through a wash cycle. I used a little detergent pod and then I dried it because I thought you guys would like to see what it looks like on me as well as what it looks like laying flat. So I do think that the washing process made it fade just a little bit, but I have to say I'm super impressed with everything we've done here today. I feel like it truly does make the tie dyeing process go by so much faster just because you don't have to wait for the dye to like sit in. Like I feel like the past couple kits we've done, they say like, oh wait, eight hours, six hours, like 18 hours, sometimes a whole 24 hour period will go by. And with the two minutes like microwaving process, that takes all the waiting time 
out of it. So it really then just comes down to like, how much time do you spend actually applying the dye? You know, how much time do you spend like folding the shirt up? You know, and then however long it just takes the washing machine, whatever wash cycle you choose. But yeah, I definitely feel like the dyes are beautiful. I'm so happy that this time we actually like laundered the garment and everything still looks like vibrant and beautiful and tie-dyed. Like, I mean, I feel like things just look more muted or something like once, once the fabric is dye versus like when the dye is on there wet, you know? Like I feel like everything just looks, it's the same with like hair dye and stuff, you know? But it looks awesome. And I just love how it turned out. I feel like I'm gonna wear this shirt a ton. Now the only thing I'm torn on is do I cut the sleeves or do I leave them intact? I don't know. Maybe leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. But yeah, I would definitely want to get more of these kits. They have other dye color combinations that you can choose from. And I do think that they offer like a larger party pack kit. You know, if you're having like a tie dye party or something where I think you get like 21 bottles of dye or like something wild like that. So yeah, this is a lot of fun. And uh, right now this is my favorite way to tie dye. That is it for today. Thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings i love you guys so so much and i'll be back again tomorrow bye